welcome back to the channel guys hope you had a great long weekend uh, I just wanted to make a video on a tool that I use a lot on a day-to-day -day basis uh, whether you're trying to gather information on a domain a public domain that is owned by a client you're trying to check the DNS records that you have updated if they have propagated on the internet uh, you're trying to solve an email delivery issue you're trying to check if the domain is blacklisted on the internet or not there is a tool a free tool called MX toolbox uh, this tool is very versatile uh, you can also call this a Swiss army of uh, uh, diagnosing email issues <laughs> uh, if you're not using it you're making your life harder than it needs to be so let me show you why uh, this is very useful and hopefully I can convince you to incorporate it in your in your day-to-day -day work okay all right so I'm gonna switch to my desktop here get to the tool you just google it so let me open a new tab I'll just search for MX toolbox that's what it's called and yeah you will get there directly uh, this is what main page looks like uh, you have one field where you enter the domain name so this name is to be the public domain name not the private one uh, it's something you get by buying it through a domain registrar. The most popular one is GoDaddy uh, Hostinger. They sell public domain on the internet. So that's what will needs to be entered here. Okay. And uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using my domain that I own. Uh, it's the techies.ca. So that's what I'm going to be using. This is what it's called. So let's just start by just putting that in here and checking MX lookup. So MX means the mail server uh, address lookup. So this will show me the 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 server, the email server for this domain. Okay. So if I look that up, uh, it takes a bit of a time, but it's usually very fast. And you can see it's telling us that my email server is Microsoft corporation that is the host name and that is the IP address of the mail server and folks who are familiar with Microsoft 365 they would immediately know that this is the email server is Microsoft 365 or exchange online so this is how you find out about mail server associated to a domain okay uh, let me let me check another thing so now you can just click on this arrow drop down arrow and you can see there's so many options that you can pick from let's start by checking if my domain is blacklisted on the internet so we'll just click on blacklist check and so far it's all okay so that means I'm not being blocked by any of these servers or services that do the blacklisting if your domain was blacklisted it would ha it wouldn't be green it would be red and you would have to contact them to unblock it okay let's move further uh, if I want to see what uh, the name server is for this domain so name server would be the registrar like the server where all the DNS records are kept uh, I am assuming that you guys know what name server is because that's another topic in it itself uh, if you have any question about name servers just let me know in the comments I'll try explaining you but I want to see where all the records or the DNS records for this domain is uh, so that that's going to be through DNS check uh, we'll just click on that and after some processing it'll tell us exactly where it is and see it says NS type which is name server and the IP address is this and you can see it also tells us the name of the name server it's hosted by INOS and that is exactly where I, I have my DNS for this domain it also gives you the host name for it great so let's let's check some other things let's see if we have a DKIM setup or let's let's check the SPF record for this so SPF is very important for email security if you don't have an SPF for a domain anyone can spoof your domain and send emails pretending to be you okay to pretending to be the owner of this domain so very important to set SPF if you have email service attached to a public domain 
if I check up SPF, I should have something coming. Up. And yes, there is. We have an SPF record set up for this domain. So I am good. Uh, let's check DKIM. So if you have got, watched my video that I recently posted on DKIM and overview and how to set it up in Microsoft 365, I uh, would ask you to check that out if you are not sure what DKIM is. Uh, but we'll, we'll just go ahead and try looking up the DKIM for this. And it's going to give us an error because DKIM requires a parameter. It needs us to specify what sector we are looking for. Uh, so for this one, I will have to specify the sector of DKIM, uh, which is usually, let me just log into my tenant so you guys can also see how I figure that out. I'm going to log into the Microsoft 365 portal. Microsoft. Uh, .com. Hopefully I've spelled it right. And I have... And I'm just gonna close that. Let me, let me just make sure I am in the right tenant. I am. We'll go to the admin center, and we will go to security, and we will go to email and collaboration and policies and rules. Thread policies. Let's go, and we will click on email authentication settings. We'll switch to DKIM and we should see our custom domain which is the techies.ca and we have it enabled and it says it's valid so let's get the sector here so it's supposed to be sector 2 so it has two sector which it rotates uh, usually it starts with the sector one so we'll pick that one here and we will just go back to our and we should just be you should be able to just uh, so let's follow this one here it needs the domain which is the techies dot ca and then colon and sector so let's just move that and see if it works and it worked and it shows us the sector one key uh this is the record that we added on the on the dns for this domain in the previous video that I made on DKIM, please check that out again, so so that you guys are not confused. Uh, okay, uh, and yeah, that's how you check DKIM. You can also check D DMARC. Again, this is going to be important when you're troubleshooting email delivery issues. Uh, you can also check. Let's see, what can we check? We can check domain health. See if that gives us anything. Does it doesn't. So it doesn't work. Like all these options won't work, but most of them will, and they are very helpful. Okay. Uh, let's check uh, what are the text records on this domain. So I'm just going to clear that out. Enter the domain again. And just do text. And these are the text records that are published for this domain. Uh, you can see our, we have our SPF record. We can also see um, a lot of things. I'm not going to check each and everything. but. You get the idea, right? That's is this video is just meant to be an introduction. I don't want to make it too long, uh, but yeah, this is a very powerful tool. Uh, next video, I will be using this tool to analyze an email header, which will help us figure out email delivery issues. Okay, which is very big topic, very useful in IT. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions? Please ask me in the comments. Uh, take care. Bye bye.